operation with matrices, addition and subtraction of matrices. You will find this on page 558 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Operation with matrices. In this section, matrices will be added and subtracted. We will also investigate scalar multiplication and multiplication of matrices. But first, in this video, we will just concentrate on addition and subtraction of matrices. To add or subtract two or more matrices, they must be of the same order or size. They must have the same number of rows and columns. For example, a matrix with three rows and five columns can only be added or subtracted from a matrix with three rows and five columns. Then we just add or subtract the numbers in matching positions. This is very important. Just add or subtract the numbers in matching positions. Now let's look at an example. This is P, Q and R and they say evaluate P plus Q plus R. So basically I can just write it like this and then I just start adding 3 plus 7 that's 10 plus another 10 and that will be 20. You can just do it from the start. I'm just showing you there. Okay and if I do this one then this one will be 2 minus 2, remember that 0, minus 12, so it will just be negative 12. So this step is not really necessary, but you can do it in the beginning. Then negative 1 plus 2, that will be 1, plus 7, that will be 8. Then 5 minus 4, that's 1, plus 4, that will be 5. And then 4 plus 9, that will be 13 plus the 8, that will be 21. And then 0 plus 6, that's 6, minus 5, that will be 1. And that's how you do it. Just a normal ad um, adding of negative and positive numbers. Okay, stop the video and do try now for number 1. Then after that, try now 5, number A. And after that, you can try, try now 6, number 2b. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just start here. Okay, we start with try now, let's just get a pen, try now for number one. So they give you the three different matrices and they say evaluate A plus B plus C. Now I'm just going to write it like this. And now I'm going to say, remember this is capital letters. Sometimes they forget to write this, but the 100% correct is to underline it because it's bold printed. Okay, so basically we're going to say four and six 3 and 7, negative 6 and negative 1. Plus, and now we're just going to say 3 and negative 4, 1 and 2, 5 and negative 7. And then the last one, it's going to be 0 and negative 5, negative 2 and negative 6, and 9 and negative 3. Okay, and now we're just going to add that corresponding positions. Okay, so let's start. So if we look at the first one there, we're just going to start adding it up. Okay, so let's say 4 plus 3, that's 7, plus 0, it will just be 7. Okay. Then this, I just want to underline every time, this is 3 plus 1, that's 4, minus 2, so that will be just 2. And then the next one, negative 6 plus 5, that's negative 1, plus that 9, that will just give me an 8. And then the next one, 6 minus 4, that's 2, and then minus 5, and that's going to be negative 3. And then it's going to be 
7 plus 2, that's 9, minus 6, that's going to be 3. And then the last one, it's negative 1, negative 7, so that is going to be negative 8, and another negative 3, so it's going to be negative 11. And that's your final answer. Okay, that's number 4, the first one. Let's go to the next one. Okay, try now 5a. Okay, so this is a subtraction sum. We do exactly the same. We first write it down. This is a, and they want it a minus b, which will give me, let's just write down a. a will be 4 and 6, 3 and 7, negative 6 and negative 1. Subtract, remember it's subtraction now, b. So it's 3 and negative 4, 1 and 2, 5 and negative 7. Okay, let's start with the calculations. Okay, remember every time the corresponding positions. So 4 minus 3, that will just be 1. Okay, the next one. 3 minus 1, that will be 2. And then, let's just do this one, negative 6, and remember, negative 5, okay? So the signs are the same, keep the sign, add the numbers, so it's negative 11. Okay, then the next one, 6 minus, but remember, this negative times the negative becomes a positive. So 6 plus 4, that will be 10. Okay, then the next one, 7 minus 2, that will just be 5. And then the next one, negative 1, now a negative times a negative is a positive again. So it's negative 1 plus 7, and that will just be 6. And that's the final answer. Okay, and then we can look at the last one. So, if I look at the last one, um, we will, it's number 2b, let's just mark it. Number 2b, find the values of a of b in each of the following. Okay, let's just rewrite it first. So, it's going to be 5a, 2, negative 1, 3b, 6 and 3, minus... 9 and negative 7, 6 and b, 4 and 5 is equal to 16 and 9, negative 7 and negative 28, and 2 and negative 2. Okay, remember this is the equation. So again, first do that subtraction. So let's do that. So it's actually just writing it over first there. So if I write it over, let's just see quickly, number 2b. So I'm going to say, let's just underline it for you. 5a minus 9 is equal to 16. So let's write it. So it's 5a minus that 9 is equal to 16. Let's first write down all of the statements, equations. So negative 1 minus 6 will equal be negative 7, okay? So if I just do, this is going to be negative 1 minus 6 is going to be negative 7. That's correct. Okay, let's look at the next one. So, in this case, we are going to say, okay, so this was 6 minus 4, that's also making sense, that's 2. So, and there's not the unknown. You can actually just focus on the unknowns. So, again, let's just check this one. So, this was not necessary to write that 2. So, this is 2 plus 7, that's 9. Only we, I see the unknowns. So, let's make the work a little bit less. Do you see there's an unknown? Okay, so let's write it in blue again. So I'm just going to solve that one. So it's going to be 3b minus b, and that's going to be negative 28. 
So 5a is going to be 16 plus 9. So 5a is going to be 25, divide 5, divide 5. And the value of a, what will be the value of a? 5. And if I solve this one, it's going to be 2b is equal to negative 28. So divide 2, divide 2, the value of b is negative 14. So therefore, the value of a is 5, and the value of b is negative 14. And that's the final answer.